Welcome to Cook UK. For today's recipe, we're going to make meatloaf a la Napolitana. The meat ingredients that you can see in there that we start off with is half minced beef and half pork. Minced pork. In fact, you can use almost any meat you like. Veal will do just as well. You can use just pork or you can use just beef. It really doesn't matter. Uh, but in typical Italian cooking, they would use two types of meat. So what we've done is we've added in the parm Parmesan cheese, which has been grated beforehand. It is really better to use the freshly grated Parmesan cheese rather than the packet stuff. It's simply, the packet stuff simply doesn't taste the same. We've then got a couple of tablespoonfuls of chopped parsley, finely chopped. And on top of that, we've got some chopped sweet peppers, or bell peppers as the Americans call them. And we've got two to three stalks of celery, which has also been fine, finely chopped into little pieces. So there's no other way of doing this quick. You've basically just got to use your hands and mush up the whole mixture until it's all incorporated. Oh, let's not forget the eggs, because we've added eggs here, which we've lightly beaten before adding them, and that will just help to hold the whole meatloaf together. When we've got all this combined together, we're going to add some stale bread, which you can see just top right over there, which all we've done is to break it down into small little pieces. You've only got fresh bread, the best thing to do is, before you start this recipe, is take it out. Lightly toast it, and I mean lightly toast it, just for a minute or so, far away from the grill. And then break it into small pieces and put it to one side. Um, it will quickly, if you break it into small pieces like that, it will quickly uh, go almost stale. And then what we've done is we've added about half a glass of milk to the, to the breadcrumbs. We drain the milk off after about 30 seconds and that's what we're going to add in a minute or so. And the final ingredients for this that we're going to add before putting it into the, into the meatloaf dish is some basil, about half a teaspoonful of basil, half a teaspoonful of oregano if they're dried, double the amounts if they're fresh, and of course if it's fresh you need to finely chop it, and then season it with salt and pepper. Just going to stop here and wash my hands so that I can add the So the final stage in preparing this mixture is to add roughly a tablespoonful of olive oil. We've used extra virgin olive oil. Add in the bread, which has been soaked in, in milk. Scatter on a, a dollop of basil, a dollop of oregano. We like lots of pepper. Okay, what we've done here is we've lined the bottom of the tin with about two centimetres worth of the meatloaf mixture. We've then placed our six boiled eggs over the top of that and filled round the edges and the sides. And we've actually used six boiled eggs here, um, but you can get away with just simply using four. But having made this recipe several times before, we know that everyone who eats it loves to get that piece of egg right in the centre. So instead of using four eggs, we've used six and we've cut the ends off the eggs. So that there's far more chance of each one of the guests actually getting that perfect centre bit of the egg yolk with the egg white round it and then the lovely meat, meat, meatloaf mixture surrounding it. 
It's a bit like gala pie. Everyone wants the bit with the egg in the middle. So that's what we've done. Six eggs instead of four. With economies on your list, then simply use four. We then covered the whole of the eggs with about another two centimetres, one inch of the mixture, and we've then firmed it down. Now what we're going to do now is put that in the fridge for about 30 minutes, which will let it set it slightly, uh, and then we'll take it out and put it into the oven at 160 degrees. So you need to, just, just before the 30 minutes is up, turn on your oven at 160 degrees. Now if you want to see more detailed instructions on this recipe, then go to www.cookuk.co.uk and if you type in meatloaf into the top left hand corner search of every page it'll come up with our meatloaf a la Neapolitana and not only do we so the meatloaf mixture has been in the fridge for about 30 minutes we're now going to put it in the preheated oven at 160 degrees centigrade and we're going to cook it for an hour and then after the hour's up we're going to take it out of the oven cover the top with streaky bacon to stop it drying out and then put it back into the oven for the remaining 30 minutes now, you may well find that at the edges here there's lots of liquid as the fat is dissolved from some of the meat so simply pour that off because it's basically just fat and then layer the top of the meatloaf with about six slices of streaky bacon. It is possible to also use ham or any other meat, you know, chorizo, whatever you like. The idea is that it's stopping the top of the meatloaf getting too dry. Because now what we're going to do is having layered the streaky bacon on top of the meatloaf, we're going to put it back into the oven for another half an hour at the same temperature and then it will be almost ready. Okay, so when the meatloaf has cooked, take it out of the, <coughs> take it out of the oven. Uh, if you've used just a baking tray rather than this meatloaf tray here, then simply lift the meatloaf and place it onto a plate to cool down for 10 or 15 minutes or so if you want to eat it hot. If you've used a meatloaf tray it will have preserved the shape very much better but you will have a problem. Still there will be lots of fat in the meatloaf tray so before you do anything to this empty the fat out into the basin and wash it away. Now I won't kid you it's not it's not easy to get the meatloaf out of this tray because the paper simply disintegrates like that. So what we're going to do in front of your eyes is tip it out sideways onto the plate and then let it fall back on its base again and hopefully that will go okay. is to get rid of the paper and just get around to the correct side. Just go like that. And I suggest you take something like a, a fish knife and gently ease the paper out bit by bit. meatloaf. But that doesn't look very attractive at the moment because it's got all the fat around it. As you can see that side. What we suggest you do is leave it for about 15 minutes um, so that it solidifies and then move it onto your serving plate. You can then take it to the table warm. If you're going to eat the meatloaf cold then obviously you're going to need to wait about an hour for it to cool off. Um, but it is eaten best at room temperature. 
So even if you put it into the fridge, if maybe half of it's left and you put some into the fridge before you serve it again, take it out half an hour before you eat it. We'll come back in a minute with the meat loaf. Okay, so here comes the moment of truth. We've cleaned up the, the fat from the base of the meatloaf and that's perfect. You can serve that to a table and that should do four to six people um, delicious. We are actually going to carve it for you in front of you, hopefully. So we'll remove the parsley. We'll get a, a knife. And carve off the end bit. You need a sharp knife for this if you're going to cut through the bacon and not destroy the shape of the of the meatloaf. So let's put that to one side. And there we go. Slice off the portion here. It is a bit tricky if you want to keep the bacon on top, but and you can see the meatloaf is retaining its texture. And there we have the perfect egg. And you'll find that a lot of the slices will have the egg in them. Let's just slice up one more here. If you heard a meow then, that's our cat. One of our cats rather. Whenever food is served, she's there to take it off. So there you have it. The perfect meatloaf a la Napolitana.